what's up guys it's noelle from peace how are you guys how's your summer going i hope it's going awesome and if you're watching this right now i'm probably in another state yeah i'm two places at once can you believe it but i am just on vacation and i am getting out of ohio can you believe it probably don't even know what that feels like but i wanted to talk to you guys today about this guy named josiah and his story is found in second chronicles chapter 34. so this story title is called josiah promises to follow the lord so let's find out and read about josiah and see how he decided to follow the lord so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to do this little activity now josiah became a king at a very young age so what we're going to do is pretend that we're kings and queens. With your family, you are going to be the kings and queens of a country that you create. So go ahead, create a country, and you're going to draw a map for this country, what it looks like, and come up with some laws for the people in your country. This may be hard, it may take a few minutes, but go ahead and pause the video and do that little activity. Now that you're back, I want you to pause the next slide and answer these questions about your country and what may have been hard or easy about it and all some other things. So go ahead and check out these questions. Okay guys, I'm gonna get right into our story. So I said that Josiah became a king at a really young age. So he was just a boy. The Bible says he was eight years old. Some of you may be eight years old. Could you imagine being a king that young? He was probably really scared, but scared or not, he was king. The Bible tells us that Josiah was a good king and that he did what was right in the eyes of the Lord. What are some good things that you think a good king would do? So when Josiah was about 20, he got rid of all the idols in the country. An idol is a statue that was supposed to be a god. Josiah wanted his people to worship the only true god, our god. So he had all the altars where idols were worshipped torn down. Not many years later, Josiah decided to repair the temple of the Lord. He sent most of his most trusted men to take care of repairing the temple. Now let's think in our heads of what this temple may have looked like and what a mess it may have been because they destroyed it. There's some things that they may have needed to repair this temple. They needed to collect money so they could get supplies to rebuild the temple. When they got the money, they went out and they bought the wood and other building materials and they paid the workers who were rebuilding the temple. Well, I guess we better continue our story. So in this passage, they found something really, really useful. God's word. That's something we can use too. So they found this Bible as they were rebuilding the temple. They called it the book of the law because the Bible has laws that we are supposed to follow. So in 2 Chronicles 34, 18 to 19, it says, The Shaphan, the secretary, informed the king, Hilkiah, the priest, has given me a book. And Shaphan read it in the presence of the king. When the king heard the words of the law, he tore his robes. Why would he do that? So he tore his robes. That means he was upset. When he heard what God's word said, because he was upset because he realized his people weren't doing what God wanted them to do. They were worshiping other gods and doing a lot of wrong things. So think about a time that you guys did something wrong. Now let's see what Josiah did after he found out about this. The Bible says that King Josiah gathered all his people. He read God's word to them and he promised in front of them to live better doing what God's word says. He asked his people to do the same. Guys, I want to do what God's word says and I want to pray about it right now that we can all do what God's word says. I'll pray it out loud, but you guys pray it in your heart. Dear Lord, thank you for this day, and I just pray that we are able to read your word, the Bible, and do everything that it tells us to do so we can live right in this world. Thank you, God. Amen. So Josiah led his people in a way that honored God. In 2 Chronicles 34:33, it says, 
Josiah removed all the detestable idols from all the territory belonging to the Israelites, and he had all who were present in Israel serve the Lord their God. As long as he lived, they did not fail to follow the Lord, the God of their ancestors. How cool is that? So, go ahead and pause the next slide and answer these questions and come right back. So our Bible point says that God's word changes our life. When King Josiah's people found the Bible, he read it and he changed his life completely. He also led his people to change their lives. When we read the Bible, we can learn how to live too. There is a verse in the Bible. It's actually my favorite verse in the Bible. It's from 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. And here's what it says. All scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. So I want you guys to go grab a piece of paper, write that down, and put it somewhere where you can see it. It says that his script, all scripture, all whole Bible is God-breathed. That means that God breathed his life into it. He spoke it to people so that way they can write it in the Bible so we have it today. Everything in the Bible is directly from God and he tells us how to live our lives. The Bible tells us. It tells us exactly what God wants for us, exactly what, how God wants us to live our lives. Exactly. Just like you have a map to get you to where you need to go in the car, the Bible is our life map. It tells us what we need to do, where to go, so in the end we will be in heaven with God. It's such a cool verse. So make sure you go ahead and write it down. It's 2 Timothy 3, 16 through 17. All right, guys, that is it for today. But remember that God's word changes our lives. We need to listen to him and follow him in everything that the Bible says because it is good for us. It is good, it is true, and it is everything that we need to survive in this world today. I love you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this lesson and you learn to read the Bible and to just really breathe it all in and take it all in and do everything that it says because it's really important. Hope you guys have a good day. Have a great week and we'll see you next time. Bye.